In seven NHL seasons, that played over 3,900 minutes on the ice and almost 700 in the penalty box. Get a knock to the ice by Nash. The math is easy. For every six minutes I played, one was spent in detention. I've been called a goon, a nuisance, and my personal favorite from my own mother, the little pest. Today, things are a little bit different. The way I used to play got me in trouble. Now I'm the one giving out five minutes in the box. He comes in, he's stopped by Smith, and a rebound, he got that as well. When Mike Smith is on his game, he's one of the best goaltenders in the National Hockey League. He's part of the new generation of goalies. 6'4", 215 pounds of twisted steel. Lean and mean. He handles the puck so well, it's like having another extra defenseman back there. Oh, what a save! Our chat was Smitty's first time in the NHL penalty box. Though maybe it made him want more. Because a few days later, he got into a brouhaha with his former team. Smitty, welcome to my office. This is where I spent my entire career. You have never spent a minute in here. Cozy in here, though. It is cozy, eh? yeah. You know, I got a little couple big fellers in here. Yeah, a couple, oh, one big feller in here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I got to ask you 100 penalty minutes, over 100 penalty minutes in your career. And I probably should have been in here a few times. You should, you absolutely should be in here. Yeah. With that beard. That's yeah. a nasty beard. <laughs> it looks good on you. <laughs> 58 saves. What did you get a, a medal? Did you get a couple <laughs> ice packs for the groins? I mean, something. That was that was ridiculous. A couple cold ones. Uh, no, it's just it's my job. Hey, eh, Tyson. Yeah. It's my job back there to you know kind of make the saves, and that was just a crazy game that you know just seemed like you know it was one of those games where I was kind of in the zone and yeah. didn't really think about how many shots I had. I was just kind of you know having the mentality to worry about the next kind of shot and. It ended up being a lot, but it was uh, definitely one I'll look back on in my when my career is over and be proud of that one. Be, be pretty proud of it. 80s the record. Sucked that, 80 plus. Sucked that it didn't get the win out of it though. Like that, that really, that really, that really made me mad at the end yeah. of it. I mean, you know the record's 80 though, so that's like 22 isn't it, more. Isn't it Ron Tugnut? I, is it the Tugger? I, it might be the Tugger. <laughs> the tugger. <laughs> Seriously, can you Ottawa. imagine though facing 20 plus oh, more I mean, shots? I know. Is that in regulation? I think so. I think that's so. That's incredible. Yeah. Yeah, imagine. Yeah, the team must not have any six. <laughs> there was nothing going on. Trying to put it home, and Mike Smith is there again. Okay, you're the best athlete on the team. I mean, it's it's known. You played baseball oh, yeah? growing up. Well, that's, or is that self-proclaimed? Did you tell me that? <laughs> yeah. Did you tell me that? I don't know, because that's what I heard. But uh, you played baseball gr growing up. I mean, tell me about your baseball career and, and how maybe that transformed into, into goaltending. I mean, you could have been either. Yeah, it was it was softball, so I played the the under the other hand windmill. Oh, you know, was that pitch. the women's style? Yeah, yeah, That's women, what women, said. women, that the yeah it was the women's style, but I'm sure he couldn't hit it. So <laughs> Donor's old, so he can't see, uh, yeah, see I know. that far anyway. Well, did you see him squinting when he's trying to hit the batting practice? <laughs> <laughs> and his bat up and uh, he was scared. Trying to knock yeah. the cover off. He was it. scared. He was but scared. no, it's you know what? I have some of my fondest memories going to the ballpark as a kid. Like yeah. uh, we just had it, you know. There's a lot of, obviously growing up in Canada and playing hockey, there's a lot of politics even then when I grew up right. and the crazy parents and, and you know, just, um, it was just a lot more fun and relaxing to go to the ball field. For me, not only for me, for my, for my parents, we had a great, you know, uh, group of parents that got along really well. We had a great group of guys that, uh, you know, grew up and, you know, played sports together and, and, you know, fastball was one of the ones. We had a great team. We had an unbelievable coach. and. To this day, I'll I'll give him a lot of credit on why I, you know, became the athlete I became. He, he was just ingrained good work ethic, good work yeah. habits, and to this day, I'll I'll give Greg Orr a lot of credit for, you know, my work ethic and my you know practice habits. A goaltender's mask is always a uh, an extension of yourself. Uh, who has the input in your mask? And, and you got to give us the, the inside scoop. You got the Wiley Coyote. I got the Wiley Coyote and the Roadrunner. The Roadrunner, yeah. that's what it yeah. is. Okay. okay. But the Roadrunner is okay. usually. Okay. Because I got uh, Yosemite Sam here. Oh, that's a nice so tat. That's a, that's a 15 year old mistake, but, by the yeah. way. I, mean... I don't know what's worse, the tattoo or your calves. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we can edit that. That's brutal. Riding a chicken my whole life. <laughs> I have a lot of input in my helmets, yeah. you know. Well, your but, kids are on there yeah, too. Yeah, my kids are on there now, which is which is kind of a cool, yeah. you know, thing to be able to, 
Does know. the wife ever get put on there? No. Or is that like a no-no? No, no, no yeah. <laughs> I think I'd get a lot of razzing for that. <laughs> I think so. So, uh, not too many people are going to chirp me about putting yeah. my kids yeah, on a helmet, yeah, but as soon point. as you put your wife on, I think that's a different story. It's a, it's a different ballgame yeah, yeah, altogether. Free game. So, yeah. No, I, and then people are really fond of the, the Wiley Coyote, you know, helmet, so I've kind of kept that, you know, theme yeah. since I've been in Arizona. But, you know, as a, as a kid, the Wiley Coyote was always the guy getting beat up. Right. You know, so I wanted to change that when I came here. On most of my mask was him on it. I always have the the roadrunner getting smashed somehow, uh, whether it's with a hockey stick or I like it. I didn't whether know he's that. got him by the you yeah. know, got yeah, him by yeah, the neck yeah, and there's finally fe- got him. There's feathers finally all over the helmet. Him. So yeah. it's usually it's been a theme. I got a couple more coming. Love it. It should be uh, exciting to look at. Look forward to it. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Thank, Thank you, you, buddy. You.